So, as you guys know, we destroyed this in that last video that I recorded of it. And I've decided I've had enough of this flimsy body. I've gone to like three of them now. Three or four. And at 30 something bucks a pot, decided it was time for an upgrade. We're going to go with this guy. I ordered this off of Horizon, the Micro Heli. That is, so you guys were wondering, that's the uh, Velcro, bright yellow, Velcro to hold the battery in. And these are what my bags kind of look like. Pull out some tools. Let's see which one of these. It's not going to be this one. It's hard to say. That one's a small. What? No, it's this one. So it's Team Low C, the green. What is this? The uh, 0.5 millimeter. So, so this is the LED light. I'm pretty sure. something to remember uh, I got in a hurry and actually put screws on these last three and you're not supposed to do that that's for a different hardware it says we need to go to I'm guessing the upper frame here this looks a lot like this guy right here and so these are the swings I've heard this so these Mount on like this, and you can collapse. These are going to go into these four, and then there's going to be four spacers, and these go underneath this. So these screws will be on the top, the spacers will be on the bottom. These spacers, it shows to put them in in the drawing, but they were already installed on mine. These are heavy. They're kind of heavy duty, actually. Right here, there's a little extra. I was wondering if maybe you could lift those up to make your landing gear longer. Like if you have a, a gimbal or something, but it doesn't have any extra screws, so I'm guessing no. Got a nice little rubber seal on the bottom of it. You can kind of see it right there when I ref Yeah, there you go. I like that. Sorry, I got my camera right above my light, kind of, so that's the shadow you see. Finished product, I believe it looks like that. Okay. Okay, so finishing up the last one. And I'm just tightening about four or five, uh, eight or nine turns per side, just bringing it in together because I don't want to put this thing on a bind. Uh, there's a wing nut on here. I have no idea which way that goes. I'm assuming that goes... Yeah, that works. It has to only go one direction. You got your three holes. For one, two. I don't know if that's focusing, but there's a copper spacer. So yeah, we don't want to lose any of those. Okay guys, now we're in the process of getting the arms on. 
And what you do is you pull that out, there's a wing nut right here, and you tighten that wing nut and that locks it in place, or supposedly. Uh, make sure you get the back ones to the back and the front ones to the front, because if you don't, the screws won't line up. So make sure you do that. It's a little stiff, but I think that's okay. What I like about this so far is all screws are accessed from the bottom. So whenever this starts to loosen up, you don't have to take it all apart. You just simply go into the bottom of your chassis, well, I don't know what it's called, frame. Not chassis, but frame, and you can tighten it all up. Okay, so now we're at the stage where the guts from this quad go into this. So... Okay. Uh, the stock screws for your motor mounts are about half the length of these screws. So I was like, no way, those aren't going to fit. And I didn't look at the instructions because I just figured, you know, it's the motor. It mounts just like the other one. Well, I was wrong. I forgot. I saw these and I had no idea what those were for. They're spacers that lift the motor up. Little heads up, make sure you get your spacers in. I was wondering what this thing was, these little bushings, and that's actually to hold your main board. So that doesn't get taped on or anything, it's actually screwed in place. So I like that too, just like the other one. This I'm not sure because it's going straight down. So I don't know if I'll be able to see that, maybe. I may just uh, put some plastic, maybe some film, so it'll kind of glow in there. We'll, we'll play with that. There's some options I've seen on YouTube. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish up the motors. Okay guys, we got her done. As far as everything, as far as this frame is mounted, double face taped. As far as my antenna, I just kind of ran it up underneath the main board. Uh, put a double face tape right there and that's where I put mine. So this is the front of the quad. And if I remember correctly, that's where it was. I believe, yeah, I still got the tape right there. See underneath the double face tape. Oops, sorry, bumped the camera. Straighten that back out again. Okay, so we're ready to put the top plate on. I went ahead and put these blue things. That's your leg support. Uh, that was part of this little kit. I just had to take it all apart. Uh, I need to put that in before I put the, the body on. Uh, these little washers like this. You want to save those for last. These go in between, or this needs to go on first, and then those is what holds this in place. I want to make sure I can get to this plug for programming. This is the programming plug, the part that goes into the receiver or whatever. Do that for every one of them and that'll pretty much line up this top body and uh, really all we got left to do is put those last little screws in with the washers well not the washers they're more like a bushing to help so these things will pivot the arms and uh, the legs and I think we are, we're done deal so we're we're in the home stretch my friends bring it all the way out like that or you can bring it in when you're done with it so there you go and then we just bring it all the way back out there's no screws in here so I can't work too crazy on it that's probably why it's going so easy because I haven't got any screws in it boom okay guys we're pretty much all done except for a couple of these mounted and the legs again we're going to put the legs to the outside, so again we have these letters, we want those to the outside, simply place them in a little pin area, like so, same with this side, 
Then we have the washer. So yeah, your lights, <laughs> they don't have a cover over them like they do on the, on the body, but other than that, it's kind of cool. But I can see, uh, it's kind of hard to see that light, the signal light, unless you're right under it. That's about the only downfall, like they could have put that on a little bit of an angle so you can see it. I guess when you're in the air it's okay, but... There we go guys, finished product. I know what you're saying. Why did I go with the normal blades? Well, the body cost enough. I'll uh, work on the blades later, maybe get the carbon fiber blades. But for now, I might zip tie this. Just so it doesn't get hung up on something. Probably wouldn't be that hard just to put a little zip tie there. But, uh, there it is, and it, it is cool. I kind of like this, but uh, there it is, and it looks cool. I like this, and uh, it took me about five hours to put it on. Now, if I were to do it all over again and have to do it again for a friend, I could probably knock this out in an hour and a half, but it's that learning curve of trying to figure it out. All right, guys, well, hope you liked the video. Am I in the dark? Yeah, I probably should do this. Hope you liked the video. Uh, trial and error, guys. Just trial and error. Uh, like I said, there wasn't a whole lot of videos out there putting this this frame together. Again, I did buy it off Horizons um, Horizons Horizon Hobbies website. You can buy them on eBay, but I found that Horizon was the cheapest place for it. Uh, I've gone to three of my bodies, and I think this one will be the one that lasts because I'm tired of buying the bodies, even though. It's not a big deal to replace them. Yeah, it is actually a big deal. It, it sucks. And I've damaged them and had to send them off. And I hope this thing will be a much better quality body. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, I'll do the best I can to answer. Give a comment. Remember to like the, uh, the video. 